All right, just packing up my stuff. Um, heading out to Alexandria, Louisiana tomorrow for Because of the Times. Um, it's a yearly conference um, held for ministers at uh, the Pentecostals of Alexandria. Really cool place, basically huge church in a tiny town, but it's really awesome, incredible leaders. And um, my wife and I have been asked for the past couple years to help lead uh, worship on the PK side, which is the preacher's kid, pastor kid side. So uh, running along with the conference, they have a conference for, especially for ministers, kids, basically just for a bunch of ministers, um, students to come together and um, be ministered to. <laughs> so anyways, it's always a super fun conference, but what's unique about this is it's a couple days long and we're driving. So um, I know what you're gonna say, looking at this, you're gonna say this is overkill. Absolutely it's overkill. Um, I'm just bringing everything just for fun, just to see if I can get a ton of footage and to see what all I can get. So I'm gonna take you through a little tour of like the knickknacks and all the little stuff I have. I've done videos in the past that, you know, show you a little bit of it, but I think this is kind of all of my gear that's pretty much all gonna go into one or two backpacks. So let me show you what I'm bringing. Um, this is gonna be the base for the entire week. Everything you see from bot is gonna come from this gear. So let's do a little tour. All right, so starting with microphones, um, I've got, I'm going to mic the kit, so I'm going to double mic the kit itself um, to get be able to multi-track. So I've got Tom mics. These are Sennheiser E604s. I love them. 57 for snare, um, AKG D112 for kick, and then a um, Shure KSM 27 for uh, overhead. So this is actually like the little brother to the KSM 44 or 32, but they're super cheap. You can get them online for like 100 bucks if you wait and look for one, but they're super solid. They're like built the same, they feel the same, and they sound great. I'm bringing a pair of Shure uh, SM81s for, I don't know, crowd mics or I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with those. And then I've got my Zoom Handy Recorder, which last year, if you look back, I actually used this to track drums. This is a great way to track drums if you um, don't have a huge setup because it's got XY microphones like, you know, um, overheads and then you can plug in two mics, so kick and snare if you want. So you have overheads, kick and snare. So if you look back at all of the stuff from Because of the Times last year, all the drums are from this. My all drum sounds are from that, so it's pretty cool. Um, this is just a little mic for my T3i in case I want to get any footage. So this is um, storage, right? So uh, these are two one terabyte drives, G drives. Actually, what's cool about these? One terabyte. They're super thin, and they're actually selling them for 45 bucks on Amazon. So super crazy. Actually, I have these uh, put together as a RAID Zero. So they run super fast and then this is just a little ssd drive to transfer files for speed and then i've got one more drive it's a four terabyte drive because it's got so much um I have so much content this week so this camera that i'm using is the canon g7x mark ii um it's the kind of like my main vlogging camera and main shot camera but going through kind of my action cams i got two gopro hero 5 black i have just the original hero 120 dollars hero and then this is a light dow um this thing was like 50 bucks so uh, i'm just bringing it just in case i'm not sure what i'm going to capture but um i did a review on this one if you want to check it out but I mean, it's not bad for comparable to the gopro that's 120 bucks except it was like 45 bucks and then i've got my canon t3i um which i'll take some pictures with and stuff and then down here i've got these little mounts these are perfect um because they will go on mic stands so they'll have an abundance of mic stands basically just is like converts it from a mic stand attachment to the actual camera attachment. So I've got a bunch of those guys. This little um, Zoom IQ7 uh, for a camera, uh, my, I'm sorry, my phone uh, microphone. If I wanna do any, anything with my um, phone, I can there. This uh, guy over here, this is really cool. It's really thin, but it's an LED light. So if I'm uh, dark, in any dark spots, I actually use it here so you can see all this stuff a little better. Click that battery in, boom. So yeah, uh, this is great, Viltrox. What else I said light down? Viltrox, um, little LED light, super bright, and it takes these batteries. This is kind of like battery world, so I've got my, um, these are the light batteries, uh, batteries for my T3i, batteries for the G7X, and then I've got my GoPro batteries here. I'm bringing my uh, drone. I don't know if I'm gonna get any B-roll, but you guys seem to really like the drone footage I got, so I got the drone, remote control, all that stuff. Um, then I've just got tripods here. Um, bunch of cases, I've got a bunch of cables, and then I've got my little slider here in case I wanna get some slider action. This is a time-lapse motor, so basically I can put my GoPro on here and program this thing to turn 
like super slow. So like over two hours, it'll turn like 45 degrees if I want it to. So then I'm gonna bring this. This is the heart of the operation. This is the multi-tracking rig. So it's very simple, but this is actually what I use to track drums in the studio, not here in the sanctuary on the DW kit. But this is great. This is just two Fire Studio projects, Presonus Fire Studio projects. I've got them daisy chained together. This is just a power source. Um, so this gives me 16 channels into my MacBook Pro. Um, you can get the, I got both these guys on Craigslist at different times for $175 and $200. I've tracked with them. I've sent tracks off to larger studios uh, with them and no one's ever complained. They sound great. I would highly recommend Fire Studio Projects. If you want to get into drums, you can start with eight channels. You can expand to 16. So this is like the home base of all the multi-tracking is going to happen through here. And then like I already said, that's just a bag of cables and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, that is a walkthrough of all of the gear that I'm bringing um, as far as recording, camera, audio, all that stuff. So, that's what's going to be my capture rig is this stuff right here. So, now I'm going to go on and move to drum stuff and show you what, uh, like, snare and cymbals I'm bringing. This is a pretty cool shot. Look pretty creepy. All right, let's talk cymbals. Uh, I'm going to show you the cymbals that I'm bringing and kind of the thought behind it. Um, this conference is always a mix of gospel and contemporary, so I kind of have to be able to achieve both sounds. So, I've got my 7-inch uh, um, Earth Splash, which is, it really sounds like a little stack. It's super dry, super quick, quick decay. 9-inch Evo Splash, which I flip and stack inside this 14-inch China, which is a stack as well that I like. 17-inch uh, Brilliant Crash, just kind of a standard sound. Um, I got my 14 inch Evo hats, K custom hybrid type sound. I love these guys. I've been using them a lot in most of my recent videos. It's two 16 inch crashes. Um, this is the S Raw Eclipse series. So it's kind of um, laid differently on top and bottom as my hi hat bottom. And then this um, Earth Crash as my top. Uh, this is a 20 inch extra thin Earth Ride that I actually love as a crash. And then I just got this guy in 21 inch. Um, actually, this has been changed. So this was uh, called the traditional. It has now been changed to the Heritage line, um, but love this line. Man, just a great ride. 21 inch, medium thin Heritage ride. And then my pride and joy, 22 inch thin crash. Again, this is traditional, now Heritage. So that is the symbol setup that I'm bringing. So I'll change some of that out. I'll probably just play two crashes. So I may go between like, probably leave the 22 always. I'll go between like the 17 and the 20, depending on the set. I'll have the right all the time, and then I'll switch out the hats, depending on the set. So basically, if it's like contemporary, I'll go 16s and 20 with the 21 and 22. If it's real gospel I'll go 17 and 14 hats with the 21 ride and 22. So that's kind of the thought process behind, again, overkill, absolutely. But I'm driving, so I can take a ton of stuff in a super heavy cymbal bag, and it won't matter because I'm driving, and I can take everything I want you can't tell me no. I'm bringing my uh, Mapex Black Panther um, Black Widow snare. Um, great, really high, poppy gospel snare. I love it. I'm loving all the Mapex Black Panther lines. Check them out. Um, one thing, just the hardware is so sturdy. You've got these um, strainers on either side. The throw off is just super solid. I mean, I love it. The hardware, the lugs. They got their um, Sonic Saver hoops. Man, I have uh, two uh, Black Panther snares. I've got the Sledgehammer and then the Black Widow, and both of them are just awesome snares. So um, at the church, they've got a DW, I think it's a brass snare. I can't remember exactly, but um, it sounds great. It's really meaty, really deep, so I don't need to bring something that can do that. I'm just bringing a snare that can go really high so that if I need to switch out the sets, I can do either. Um, I can achieve either sound. So yeah, that's the snare I'm bringing. So that's really all the gear that I'm bringing. Um, so now I, I, yes, I laid it all out so you guys can see it and I can show you, but really I like to do that just to get a look at everything. So there's so many little parts. I want to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. So now I'm going to pack everything up and then uh, I'm going to spend some time rehearsing and getting ready. And then we're going to head out tomorrow afternoon.